Yeah. We are low, low lights. Here we go. We'll do it right here. I, just, I love Jewish girls. Ah, door. I want to say what's up to my YouTube peeps. This is the bike that I'm riding. It's a number 22 Drifter. It's a gravel bike, but uh, I have it set up with some really beefy Rene Hurst Hurricane Ridge 42C tires, and it's the Endurance Plus sidewalls, or the Endurance sidewalls. They're pretty sick. Love these tires. I got Force One on it, Force One Rival. It's a one by and it's a 42 in the front and it's 942 in the back. Um, disc, it's hydraulic, and I got a dropper post on it. It's a Fox Transfer. It's Kashimax. Kashima, Kashima, <laughs> coated. It works by hitting the lever here. Push this button right here, and the seat drops here. And it also goes up, see? This is a uh, outer shell frame bag, little mini guy. Uh, bringing this with me, this whole setup with me to California, and I'm leaving tomorrow, so. It's gonna be sick. Oh yeah, also NVM 60 wheels. Uh, laced up to DT Swiss 240s with the uh, upgraded ratchets in the rear, so you'll hear those going pretty loud. NV gravel bars, they kind of flare out of the bottoms and they're 44 width, and then they flare out wider here. Um, they're pretty damn comfortable. Uh, yeah, that's the bike, so now let's get on with it because this isn't about the bike. It is, but it's not. Let me see if I can zip up my jacket so it doesn't get in the shot here. I'm trying my best. It might get in the shot a little bit. I apologize, but I'm shooting this on the uh, new GoPro Hero 8 um, and I have the settings to super wide at 24 frames a second. Uh, I have the shutter on automatic and the ISO is 100 to 400 floating and we're not going to be able to go right now. What else do I have on it? Uh, no ND. I got the media mod kit on it. So I have it on a chesty and the media mod on the back, which comes with a little shotgun mic. And it also comes with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So I basically just have the GoPro, the media mod with a small road 3.5 millimeter lavalier mic plugged in. So that's what we're working with for video quality. No gimbal. This is all stabilization from the GoPro. Um, and it's been a while since we've done this because I have been testing out the Arc Zero, so it's good contrast, you know? I know that this camera is gonna do light years ahead of the Sony because they're not in the same uh, category of cameras so the Sony's not really much of an action camera it's uh, more of like a small form factor camera less of an action camera because it's not even that wide you know what I mean but I'm trying my best to find an option that's a little bit better picture quality than this. 
But as far as stabilization goes, the fucking GoPro wins. Maybe I'll go a different route today. I don't know. We're already losing some light, so we'll see how the uh, picture quality and the stabilization handles uh, with the low light, lower light. I have to go back home and pack this bike up uh, tonight because I have a flight that boards at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to San Francisco, like I said earlier. And if you guys didn't catch the live stream that I did earlier, I talked about that. Kind of like what's in store for next week since I'm not in New York. It's gonna be a lot of uh, San Francisco content videos gonna try and continue the daily upload uh, try to keep that a real thing I'm trying all the way through the end of February I'm gonna try my best it's gonna be hard I don't know my internet situation and my editing capabilities um, I'm not sure if I'll have a laptop or not, so that'll definitely hinder me if I don't have it. But I'm looking forward to getting out there and sharing a few trails, just local SF trails with, with you guys. Also filming some hotlines and um, shooting with the Arc Zero as well. It's all gonna be fun. Change of scenery for hopefully warmer weather. Sometimes SF can be cold, but I find that it's never too cold to ride your bike, so that's always good. I have a mountain bike trip planned this weekend. So one of the videos is gonna be a mountain bike riding video. I don't know where we're riding yet, but either gonna be Santa Cruz, Pacifica, or maybe somewhere in Marin. Either way, it's gonna be uh, interesting good riding i have uh, brought my mountain bike helmet with me to do that i have like a little lav mic and camera setup already hooked up on there so that's gonna be fun to share trying to keep it super simple on this trip Every time I go and ride somewhere and I, I have plans on filming, I always feel like I bring too many camera items and I just get bogged down with carrying too much shit. So I'm keeping it super simple. I'm not bringing any big cameras with me this time. I'm only bringing a 35 millimeter camera for photo walks, the uh, GoPro Hero 8, GoPro Hero 7, and the ARG Zero. Um, I know that still sounds like a lot, but I gotta bring the eight so I can test it, like we're doing right now. And I can do videos like this while I'm riding alone. I can kind of just chat. And I need the seven when I'm doing hotlines because the uh, eight, I'm not, I haven't tested the ND on it and I want to make sure if I shoot a hotline with somebody, it looks good to my standards. So it's important. So I'm bringing that. 
And then obviously I want to keep pushing the uh, Arc Zero and the uh, anamorphic lens that Moondog Lab sent over. So I want to play with that as well. And share. More sharing. Sharing is caring. But if you guys follow me on uh, Strava or Instagram, you'll see next week that I'm going to be putting in some miles. Um, might be a few uh, 20, 20 mile quick rides in the morning and then maybe another night ride at night or longer rides that are like 50 plus where I'll be out all day. Come on, sir. But I feel like I haven't shared any uh, real trails with anyone out there. I mean, I've filmed out there, but I never had the mic set up like I have now, and I wasn't really talking with you guys as a viewer, so I feel like it'll be a good, different experience, different kind of video. I'm really feeling this setup because it's just so nimble. Like, other than me looking like a weirdo with a chesty and a camera on my chest <laughs> with a bunch of red tape and a microphone on it, it's fairly easy to just like, you know, plug it in, let it charge, and it's all one unit. I just pick it up, put it on, and I know it's gonna work, you know? It's been something I've been trying to figure out. Different little camera packages, you know? Just to keep them all in their own little segments and zones. Doing a little hotline, a little mini hotline here with these two local shredders. Hotline into the, the red light. They beat me, damn it. Way too fast for me. Well, anyways, this is it for me. I'm gonna let you guys go here. Appreciate you tuning in. I hope you had a good Tuesday. Sorry about the no TV show today, but we'll catch you in two weeks. Until the next video, peace.